we have state-of-the-art clinical medicine and we also have the close proximity to the science industry. Continuous and sustainable growth, innovation and responsibility. We have a highly interactive environment. To bring our patients the best and newest treatment they can possibly receive. And we do this in the way as if these patients would be our family members. Gustav Simon, who was the director of the Department of Surgery, he performed the first nephrectomy in a patient ever. And his successor, von Czerny, he performed the first partial nephrectomy. Max Wilms was working here, who described the nephroblastoma in children. Our history tells the story that medicine very much relies on um, very competent doctors. The Department of Urology has a mission in the sense that we are looking into the future. In this way, a team was here established that is very diverse, that is connected to each other in academic friendships. We are living in a world that is continuously changing and it's changing ever faster. In 2003, we found here in the basement a Da Vinci surgical robot and at this time nobody else used a robot in Germany. The introduction of robots into the operation room has transformed the way we operate on our patients. It's a minimally invasive procedure. The patient is benefiting from fast recovery of the surgery. We are operating daily with a robot on cases like prostate cancer and kidney cancer. Without robotic surgery, reasonable department of urology simply doesn't work anymore. The field of surgery has developed a lot over the last centuries and decades. We use the data that we have collected to do big data analysis and to integrate the data that was achieved in the different disciplines to identify how can every patient be treated in a precise manner. And we do that by comparing every new patient that enters our department with our huge data and biobase. The Department of Urology at Heidelberg University Hospital is working closely with the other departments that are important for the diagnosis and treatment of patients. It's of utmost importance that we have this close interaction. The Heidelberg Ion Therapy Center is very unique in its technology and uh, we have a very strong translational program where we use multidisciplinary approach to identify together with the colleagues from medical oncology and urology which are the patients who benefit most from this kind of high technology approach. Understanding the individual biology of a disease, of a patient better, gives you at least hints how to design an optimal treatment strategy for this patient. And this ultimately will be different from patient to patient. So the interaction between the experts must be very close. And we have the entire field of immunotherapy developing, including really novel strategies, including cell-based treatments. So we are discussing completely different treatment strategies currently, and, and this will make treatments in the future much more powerful. Translational medicine is the heart and core of our department. We are trying to bring the best possible research as quickly and as safely to the clinic for the benefits of the patients. The strength of Heidelberg is the fact that we have so many excellent departments and centers here, all on one campus. The cooperation between these centers, this makes Heidelberg a truly an outstanding place for moving science and research forward. And we continue to innovate in this field. We have founded the consortium OR 4.1 to connect research centers and medical stakeholders in the industry and our goal is to bring navigated augmented reality supported surgery into the operation room. With OR 4.1 we created a prototype of an operation room platform and so these smart solutions can be directly transferred to the, to the operation room and then the patients can, can benefit from it. We can transfer these images uh, via augmented reality directly to the, um, to the operator um, using like a uh, robotic machine like the Da Vinci uh, robotic uh, surgery. A core problem in medicine is 
that we don't use the data that is saved in all the departments worldwide. In our hospital, we have established a data system, so we prospectively, over decades, follow up our patients. This data we then can use for research projects and also bringing to the patient maybe some personalized treatment approaches from all the experience that we gathered over the now even decade. Together with SAP, we created a new and personalized database for our needs where we can store all the data that we collected so far, add new ones, also add new data sources that weren't there and also keep on doing our aftercare program. That means that every cancer patient who is, who is treated by us as an inpatient is followed up by a team of five documentaries for the rest of his life three times a year. And we escalated this project into a real artificial intelligence project. It's called Clinic 5.1. So the vision of this project is to create a digital twin of every patient so that the patients that have a tumor profit from big data analysis that have been done on previous cohorts. And it's meant to be like a decision support for the doctor on every stage of diagnosis, therapy support and treatment to offer patients precision medicine in, in the terms of individualized treatment regimes. So the future of urology is still being innovative. We are curious and are driven to make new collaborations, to identify new questions that have to be answered, so that urology is still being a pioneer in innovation in medicine. Our team is full with positive energy and they know they can connect to the leading faculty any moment, the doors are always open and also we listen to them and so our leading principle is uh, leading by competence and not by hierarchy.